it's Miss Paula and you are here with The Cha-Ching Show. Today we are going to discuss being in competition with who? No one else but yourself. I know you have heard entrepreneurs say, the market is just so saturated or there's so many products out there that's just like mine. I want you to understand that that is small thinking and small thinking will always yield small results. So let's explore. I'm going to go over some brands, some products that they're in competition with yourself. A lot of times you think you are making a decision. They've made the decision for you. Let's go into it. Procter & Gamble. I am sure that if you look around your house right now, you are going to see something, a product that you have by Procter & Gamble. They own 65 different brands under the Procter & Gamble name. In the detergent category, we have Ariel, we have Cheer, we have Tide, we have Gain, we have Era, we have Drift. Yet when you go in the store, they're all on the same shelf, right? But what they have done is they have been in competition with themselves. When you're buying from them, when you're buying from Tide, or when you're buying from Gain, Procter & Gamble is still making the sale. In the area of baby pampers for diapers, they have the Pampers brand and they have Loves. I know that I am the mother of two boys, although they are now 17 and 12 years old, I've experienced using both brands, right? And I think at the time that I did, I wasn't aware that I was really shopping from Procter & Gamble, one company. Um, under the um, hand towels, which are hand towels that you use for your kitchen, they produce Baron and they produce Bounty. I have brought both. So a lot of times when you're shopping from different products, you're shopping from the same company because guess why? They are in competition with themselves. It's important to know that this US brand is a consumer goods brand and I am going to blow your mind with how much they are worth. You ready? $358 billion is the worth of this company, yes. And just to note, the largest brand for them is the Pampers brand. The next company that we are going to discuss is the Mars Company. This is a food and beverage company birthed in 1911. It is a US brand, and I'm gonna come back to their net worth. But it is important to note that they are the fourth largest privately owned company in the United States. Under the category of gum, they have branded Five Gum, Extra, Orbit, Juicy Fruit Wrigley. I know you have had at least one, I have, and at the time of purchase, I did not realize that all of these were different brands, but owned by the same company. So what they did, and did again very effectively, was make me, the consumer, feel as though I was choosing something really different because of the way they decided to brand it. They are in competition with themselves. Under the candy bar category, they have produced Twix, Snickers, Eminem, Milky Way, Three Musketeers. Did you understand that this was all from the same company? Just branded differently. It is important also to note that they have 400 brands under this company, and of these 400 brands, they each fall into three categories. They are worth a whopping $45 billion. Let's run right into Nestle, okay? Nestle is also a food and beverage company. They were birthed in the year 1866, and they are a company out of Switzerland. They have produced baby food, and under the baby food brand, they have Gerber. Gerber is a household name. I know with my children, I use Gerber. Um, also, there's Nestle. I know um, uh, the milk uh, that you know the moms use is Nestle. They have the Nestle Cyrillac, and they have the Nestle Nindo. Underwater, okay, I'm about to blow your mind, okay? <laughs> this one company, Underwater, Perrier, S. Pellegrino, Aquapana, Nestle Pure Life, Poland Springs, and Deer Park is a part of their subsidiary, which is Blue Triton. You thought you were making a, a, a decision that you were gonna go with something different. And they know that you as consumers have to feel like you have an option. And they did that for you by branding each one of these differently, but under the same company. This company is worth a whopping $99.3 billion. They have 2,000 brands under this company. And of those 2,000 brands, they fit into uh, six plus categories. 
I'm telling you, while you have been being in competition with other people, with other products, and with other services, and worrying about the market being saturated, these companies are showing you how you can be in competition with yourself so you can take the win. I want to give some notable mentions. Um, Pepsi Cola Company, worth $225 billion. They have 23 brands. They produce Gatorade, Tropicana, and 7-Up and Sierra Mist, which are like the same, this lemon-lime type of soda, but branded differently. Go over to Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola is worth $260 billion. They have 200 brands under their umbrella. They produce Powerade, Smart Water, and Dasani Water. Two different waters, right? Branded totally different. They, they, they brand it totally different so that they can capture more of an audience. We are now at the hot or not segment of the show. And this week I am introducing to you the brand Super Goop. This is the Super Goop Glow Stick. And I'm going to tell you why I'm in love with this product. This is a 50 SPF product. Um, as we get older, wrinkles are a natural thing. They set in. And one of the only ways to abate wrinkles is sunscreen. You need to start using it when you're in your 20s, when you're in your 30s, when you're in your 40s, so that as the wrinkles uh, start to set in, this is going to help you. This is one of the only ways that you can abate wrinkles. Another reason that we use sunscreen is to avoid uh, skin cancer. But I am going to show you why this is just like an amazing product. You take it out, you twist it up. You twist it up, you apply it to your skin, you rub it in with your fingers, and you know that you only need sunscreen when you're gonna actually be in the sun. But I use this product going to bed because it makes my skin look like glass and I'm that girl when I'm wearing this and I love it. Take notice to the bright yellow color. You're not gonna pass this by and you have never seen sunscreen look like this. I was taken back when I saw this. I saw some IG um, influencers using it, and I even questioned, that's, that's sunscreen? It doesn't look like sunscreen. They thought creatively and out of the box to pull you in, but what they did even better is that once they pulled you in, the product definitely delivers. I am definitely giving this a hot. Yes, a hot. Run to your altar, run to Amazon. I don't care where you have to run to. Go get you a super goop glow stick. The next product that we are going to discuss is a brand called Holistic. I was given Holistic a sample by a friend and I liked it. I used it one evening and I got a full eight hours of sleep. I woke up the next day. I remember I did Pilates. I killed it. Um, I had a lot of errands to run. I had a few meetings. Killed it. Why? Because I had a full night's sleep the night before. This product is really easy. You take it out, you pop the, uh, the top open, very simply, and it has a powder. And you pour this powder right into your water. Simple. It takes about 20 minutes before you really start to fill it. And I liked it because unlike melatonin or other products that may help you um, in a sleep aid, they can sometimes have you like a little groggy when you wake up because the product seems like it's still lingering and you're like still a little sleepy. That wasn't the case with this. I got up ready to work. I got up ready to go. I'm definitely going to recommend this, but I want you to know that because I like this so much, I decided to try the Holistic Stress. This one, not so much. I didn't notice a difference. This is supposed to be really good for anxiety to bring you down a level. I just didn't feel like it worked. So I'm giving this one, the Holistic Sleep, a hot, but I'm giving Holistic Calm a not. Okay? I definitely would recommend this. Moms on the go, professionals on the go, people with anxiety. I know that sometimes I have a lot going on. I, have, I play about three different roles in my life and my brain is always, always, always going. And sometimes when I go and lay in the bed, those thoughts don't stop. This is the product for you. Todo empieza en la tierra. La tierra tiene historia, minerales, vida. Nuestro patrimonio está en la tierra. Tierras que dan vida a un proceso artístico que culmina en una mezcla de aromas y sabores místicos. 
frutos de una región única en su tipo, definiendo con sus tonos dulces el carácter alteño de mi genta. And here we are at the Tequila Me Baby segment. And this week, the brand that we are exploring is the Mijenta Tequila Blanco. I am in love with this packaging. Look at that. Classy, pink and green. Pink and green for me has always represented a level of classiness. I love it. They did a really good job with the packaging. Really, really good job. But now we need to test the product. Mahenta, you can um, you can get this at a price point at about $45 to $50, depending on the retailer that you buy it from. This product has notes of summer melon honey. It also has blue agave, vanilla, peach, pineapple, and soursop. Um, it's important to know that it originated by the former CEO of Bacardi, Mike Dolan. Let's give it a taste. good but it's strong I'm going to say for me for this one I'm definitely gonna have a chaser um, or on the side I would have like lime juice to break up that that strength <laughs> but I do like it let's talk about it Dolan teamed up with a Mexico based distiller Anna Maria Romero to create this brand Dolan retired from Bacardi in April of 2018 and chose to dive into the tequila brands because he was in love with Mexico and the story behind how tequilas were made. The word mejenta is inspired by the Spanish word mi gente, which means my people. It was created to unite all kinds of people under one flavor. And it's important to also know it was produced in Jalisco, Mexico. We're gonna finish it out. Okay, again, me, I need lime juice, but I will get it. A little strong, but I do like it. I want to finish this up with my love words. And you guys know I always have love words for you because you're entrepreneurs, I'm an entrepreneur, so we're family. Today was all about being in competition with yourself. These brands did an impeccable job of showing you. They were not worried about what the other brands are doing, how the other brands are doing it. They made sure to offer you brands um, that you thought that you had a bunch of options that you were choosing from different companies, but you weren't. You were choosing from one company. Whether you spent the money um, with Orbit or whether you spent the money with Wrigley, did not matter. All of the money was going into one pot. And I wanna encourage you as entrepreneurs. I have often heard in my coaching sessions um, and just in general conversations with entrepreneurs, you know, they, they, there's a lot of people doing that. I don't know if I should do it. Or, you know, that market is saturated. I don't wanna go into that market. No, that's, that's, that's not the way we should be thinking. If you cannot take anything else away from this, I want you to visualize yourself driving a car and you're in a three lane highway and you're in this middle lane. And if you stop and look at the car next to you, you're gonna slow down. And if you stop and look at the car uh, to the left of you, you're gonna slow down. But if you just stay focused straight ahead, you will finish your race just as you, you should. I just want to impress upon you that everything is worth having, everything is yours. You just have to finish your race without looking to the lane to the right and to the lane to the left. Let's go. Cha-ching, baby.